Today we will be using completing the square to turn a circle equation in a polynomial form such as this into the standard circle equation in order to find the radius and the center points. This video is brought to you by Marty and Thomas. In order to find the radius and center of the circle, we must change this polynomial equation into standard circle equation form, as seen here. In this form, h equals the x-coordinate of the center, k equals the y-coordinate of the center, and r equals the radius. First, we must move the value without a variable to the other side, which in this case is 51. Next, you must divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient attached to the squared variable, which in this case is 4. The coefficient you are dividing by should be the same on both squared variables. Next, you have to group together the x's and the y's in the equation. Once you have completed these steps, this is where completing the square will come in. It will make it easier if we re rewrite our equation like this. The goal of completing the square is to make e each expression inside the parentheses a perfect square so that they can be factored down. In order to find what number you need to add to the inside to make it a perfect square, you have to divide the number attached to the sim single variable by 2 and then square your result. You then add that value inside your parentheses. Because you added a 4 and a 9 to the left side, you also have to add it to the right side. Now that these equations have been turned into perfect squares, we can factor them down into an equation looking more like the standard circle equation, like this. First we'll want to simplify the right side by using lowest common denominator. We can multiply the 4 and the 9 by 4 because the 50, it's, so we can get a common denominator which is over 4. Once you simplify the right side, it will equal 1 fourth. Simplify your equation. Rewrite your equation so you can easily identify the h and the k and the r. From here we can see that h equals 2, k equals 3, and r squared equals 1 fourth. Don't forget that in a standard circle equation that it's x minus h and y minus k, so you'll have to times it by the negative number inside the parentheses. Now take the square root of both sides for the r squared equals one-fourth, which will give you r equals one-half. From here you can see that the center of the circle is at 2 comma 3, and the radius is one half. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you learn how to complete the square to find the circle equation.